Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to day 19 of 31 days of Halloween makeup extravaganza. It's kind of crazy to me that it's already day 19. Uh, anyways, I'm going to start today off by grabbing my tag black face paint and putting in my T-T-D-E-Y-E zombie cursed contact lenses. Um, because I decided to do this first since I was going to be so close to my eyes with so many different things that I didn't want to mess it all up so I did I did it first and they're my prescription so I can see out of them so that was really great and they're super affordable um so yeah if you're looking for some fun contact lenses I would definitely check these out And then here's the part I remembered that I wanted to glue my eyebrows down. So I'm just going to be taking my Elmer's glue stick and applying it to my eyebrows in an upward motion. And then just taking a spoolie to brush my eyebrows down flat. And then I'm going to take my air spun powder and put it on over top of my eyebrows with a sponge just to kind of fill in you know, little gaps, and I'm going to take this Purlis BB Cream, and I'm going to apply that all over my face just to have, like, an even base for under the skull that we're going to be doing, and then I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and really just put this over my eyebrows because that's the only spot where I needed some more coverage, and I'm going to dab that in with a beauty sponge. This one is the Eco Tools one. Now getting back to the face paint, I'm just going to be painting on some skull eyes. Um, so I tried to leave as much as the painting process in as possible without it being too repetitive. Um, so hopefully it's okay with you guys how much I left in. Um, because it's... Yeah, yeah. if you don't want to watch the painting process, you can just skip over it. Honestly, it does, it's not that big of a video. Um, but yeah, I'm just painting painting this stuff in. And then we'll get to the fun stuff later. The bedazzling! Just putting in the little temple hollows. And next I'm adding in the little jawbone parts and the teeth. So yeah, lots and lots of teeth. I really struggle with skull teeth though, personally. I just like I think I've gotten them to look realistic one time in my whole life, and that that's about it. So um you know. You can do the teeth however you want because I don't, I didn't, I didn't really like how I did them, so you know.
we're just going to fill everything in so it's all nice and solid. And then this is personal preference, but I just wanted to add a couple of little dimensional marks. So that's what I'm doing currently. And then I also wanted to add a little bit of a crack in the forehead, so that's what that is. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of liquid latex in my bedazzles, and I'm going to apply this. At first I thought that I could do this quickly, but bedazzling takes so long and I always forget. So I apply a layer of liquid latex, then apply some bedazzles, and then move on to the next section. Apply some liquid latex, apply some bedazzles. Um, there are so many of these I feel like embedded into my carpet now. This is a very long process. This is the longest Halloween makeup um, so far this month. This one is a whopping two hour long look so uh you know just uh, you know if the pre-adhesive glitters would probably be so much better for this like the pre-adhesive bedazzle sorry excuse me um yeah the pre-adhesive bedazzle would probably be so 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 much better because then you would have to put layers of liquid latex and then the individually stuck gems i have this little tool that really helps me it's like this like waxy like pen tip kind of thing so it picks up the bedazzles and then I could just stick them on and the glue is stronger than the wax so it will stick to the glue um, but yeah I'm just gonna be working in smaller sections and I didn't include all of the bedazzling footage but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the footage that's there
now that the bedazzling is all done and out of the way this is the completed look it's so shiny oh my goodness and i didn't go all the way up the little crack on the forehead because it was like right up against my hairline uh but yeah did you see that glitter just pop off my eye i had to glue it back on uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned for my future days, of, or th my future 31 days of Halloween makeup extravaganza videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as hit that bell button so you'll be notified every single day when I upload the month of October. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Until next time, kisses from Kentucky. Bye.